another episode with Marco Merito, who is the <laughs> <laughs> expansion um, ultra performance leader. And um, well, we saw each other yesterday evening during the global um, meeting uh, with uh, all the other um, yeah team members. So welcome, Mark. Hello, hello, Suzanne. Good morning. <laughs> Oh, good, good evening. Depends on where you're on the planet. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. So, how does it feel the morning after? Oh, um, yeah, it, it feels great because uh, the meeting yesterday was a very special one. Uh, we got like one like this every three months, more or less. And um, so it's about uh, putting things together, and explaining what we're doing and having people understanding what the others do. So uh, that was that was great to see. All I mean, even for me, it's great because it's uh, it's about presenting everything at once. Uh, it's a 90, 90 minutes a meeting, and um, so you could see like every single part that is uh, moving on, and it's quite impressive actually. It's nice. I don't know how how did you feel about that? What did you see from your side? Yeah, exactly what you're uh, describing. Um, it's it's really nice to see you in your role. Um, and of course, we speak uh, with each other, and it's uh, sometimes it's just we have more conversation after recordings, so it's more private. But it's really nice to see you in your role, and then yeah, you are really born to do this. And just not <laughs> saying this just to <laughs> please you, but uh, yeah, absolutely. So I'm really curious what led, well, what beliefs um, led to starting a project like this. Say, say it again, what? What beliefs led to a project like this? Um, I think it comes from a vision of something that is uh, so big that you think it's impossible but might be achievable. So that's like this dream of doing something that is uh, looks unreal. And in the meantime, it's a strong belief that uh, when you put people together, you can do amazing, unexpected uh, things together as a, as a collective. So if you do this and put you, these two things uh, together, uh, it's how it starts really yeah. and then it's like so strong that just people get involved they are like um, curious to see what's going on and every single time that like yesterday night people can feel that things are moving on very precisely that's just like a symphony uh their own belief um becomes stronger so through the emotions through having people feeling really what what's going on um it's uh then you got you can stop the machine it's like boom, a big machine of energy i'm sure you could feel that yesterday yeah that, that's the right uh, description yes yeah it's, it's like uh it's like magic you know? yeah yeah so what is your ultimate goal besides setting the <laughs> world record? What's the, what's, what other goal? You know, the world record is, um, is just um, like a kind of conclusion of the whole story. But the main goal is really to, to show and demonstrate uh, how much powerful uh, you, can, you can be uh, inside an organization uh, with, when you put people together, whatever project it is in a company, a private project, uh, an association, anything. And in our case, it's something that is, uh, looks like uh, impossible. You know, it's like going on Mars. It's like, it's invisible, but you're not really sure that you can make it. You know, it's, it's just a feasibility. It's, that it's, it's potentially attainable, you know, and no more than that. You can't have uh, beliefs in, yeah, we're going to do it uh, for sure. No, it's uh, something that is possible. Maybe someday, you know, eventually. Yeah, that, that, that's where, where it comes from, you know, like crazy, it's kind of crazy 
purpose. On the edge. Yeah, on the edge. Yes. Yeah. On yeah. the edge. But it's like you're on the edge, but it's uh, it's really tiny little things, you know. Um, it's about feeling um, di distractions, feeling when people are not fully here, or maybe might be unconsciously disengaged. And that's when it's very important just to give a sign, say, say hi, say here we are, that's the next step. Just like be patient, uh, things are moving on. Look at this, look at the whole picture. You know, it's tiny little things all yeah. day, <laughs> all night. <laughs> it's like a concert, yeah. Mm. yeah. So as a highly sensitive um, person, uh, what did you hope that would come to fruition within the project, but isn't there yet? Um, the next step where we're going is, um, is um, a total confidence in what's going on. So people can uh, release all tensions and be um, engaged like ever in their life. So that's the ultimate challenge, which is like a kind of flow, endless flow uh, with people um, spread out <laughs> on the planet. Um, but yesterday we could feel something like this, some, some of it. And that was just a meeting, a digital meeting on Zoom, nothing fancy just um just connection and we were between 45 and 50 people 40 and 50 um out of, of 100 and most of the companies were represented so we got the recording and we we, we could feel that we could feel this kind of uh, engagement right deep engagement yeah yeah so true. that's my my ultimate vision is this one which is like a crazy dream yes yeah exactly. but i think it's it's achievable so uh, what would help you in the next uh, three months to make it even more achievable um i think this 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 time now is the may, maybe the easiest um, it will demand a lot of energy because we are entering uh, test programs on the water. Um, we'll have some. Media. There's a big project with media coming with us and um, uh, and shooting a video and uh, and, and, and pictures. Um, so we will be into the action with a lot of communication around, and so that will show how much achievement we've done, you know, and that will help people just to dive in even more and see, okay, that's like real serious stuff. It's, uh, it's big, it's impressive. And people will just connect for their own reasons, you know, um, but they will connect even more. So the next three months will be almost easy, I would say. That's, that, that's the easy part, that's the easy part. Um, even if we enter in some critical moment where we don't know if it will work, uh, if it will be, if we will have like very good results, I don't, I don't know. I think so, but uh, we don't know. We might break world records next month, um, but maybe not. I mean, that will. I mean, we shouldn't break anything because it's just just the very first prototypes. But who knows? <laughs> you know, we could have good surprises. So we will be uh, struggling, uh, smiling being like mm, not really sure of the, what we're doing but that will be like very very interesting for people to look at it and very good for the project yeah yeah so real stuff you know yes exactly yeah yeah you said it was just a zoom meeting but for a average zoom meeting it wasn't it was rather impressive mark so <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's digital stuff you know yeah it's, i think uh, after a while you just don't see it yourself <laughs> uh, yeah but uh yeah yesterday we've been like uh talking about uh all the topics 
we we have 11 you know sub projects so we talked about all these projects and the achievements so yeah, i think i was in, from outside i was quite impressive that, that, that that's the feedback that i have which is good for saying wow oh that's really impressive that's cool that's good yeah yeah but we need that it's like there is no other way for doing what we're doing in the in the zephyr project it's there is no other way we yeah. are breaking boundaries all the time yeah you know <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but we are breaking boundaries sensitively you know like emotionally also exploring mm. yes with integrity mm. yeah and um let's dive deeper uh let's explore this um you are a highly sensitive man and you're also a, a high performer a high achiever do you think that being a high performer and a highly sensitive man and with the project that you do that you can still represent the average which there isn't but let's say an average highly sensitive man mm, i think so uh, for a very simple reason is uh, that what i'm doing is just uh it's just me doing my stuff you know um i don't know look at look at someone who's um Anything that you do, if you do it fully, if you are fully involved in your life and your, what you like, your passion, um, it's, it's your own achievement as a person. And my achievement is what I'm doing, but that's my stuff. I'm good at it. That's my, my thing. And every single person has the same value. Is every single person. It's not about... Uh, judging people and and and, and uh, rating them, you know, or oh, you're average, or oh, you're high, or oh, you low. What it doesn't doesn't mean anything, you know. So our emotions, our uh, ability to connect to the others, to feel things, it's a it's a it's a it's a plus. It it's somehow can be felt as a weakness but it's a great strength and it's all about that so it's just about not looking at the achievements uh rated at a high level in our society in our society oh you go on tv because you've done great stuff <gasps> that's not the point you know someone who's writing a great book is a good writer that's uh you know is <laughs> is a uh, know-how and that's it that's great. I mean, society likes it. People likes reading it. That's great. But it's not about, you know, it's not about uh, the person as a person as, and, and its potential to feel things, to understand, to connect. So from my point of view, I think having achievers is interesting uh, because you can see them easily. You can follow them. You can connect to these people and understand through them who you are why do you read a book about about uh, barack obama why you can read it in two ways you look at the person you're like oh, wow <laughs> hi guys <laughs> you can read the book and say oh barack is such a man wonderful and look at, at, at the superstar that he is and in the meantime you can read the book and just learn from it learn from him learn from how his mindset how he sees things how serious he can be at some point and then like having fun like a, like a kid like the dalai lama that's where it is interesting i think for anybody on the planet so no it's not about the achievement i don't think so yeah yeah, and some people who are just having their own life and being okay or maybe being struggling also like i'm doing with my sensitivity i've been struggling all my life you know but it's okay and it's good if if we do that if we if we, if we exchange ideas yeah it's 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 yeah. about learning on each other you know 
Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's why I had a mix during the global summit for highly sensitive men. Yeah, uh, that's uh, yeah, as you know, <laughs> I really want to represent everybody. Uh, and people are, can be proud of what they do, whatever the size of it. You know, you don't break world records, but you did something, and uh, the the local newspaper talked about you, or or you met someone who was amazing who, who said that you're a great person. You know, so it's all about that. Yeah. So what does um, success mean to you? Success. Oh, success is for me um, achieving a goal. You plan to do something and you get there and you feel great. You know, you, you feel like filled with your experience. That's success. Uh, it's not about uh, how many likes you have on your page, <laughs> how if you go on TV. No, um, you know, these these are like the, how society rates or uh, give a quote to what you do, but it's a, it's just a, it's a mean. It's 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 a way of of doing. It's a tool to do things to achieve your goal, your personal goal. So that's that will be my definition of success. It's very yeah. personal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Your personal goal. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, thank you for today, Mark. Yeah, great. You see many boats around, people having fun. <laughs> so, great weather today. No, yeah. not, too, not too cloudy. So, yeah. yeah. Great day coming up in Marseille. <laughs> great. Have fun. Yeah, have fun as well. Thank you, Suzanne. We had a good time. Thank Hello, you. everybody. Have a great, great day. Enjoy your uh, your your day and and your weekend. Mm, bye.